Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at rounding a number to a given place value. As we read the prompt, we see that it says round the following number to the thousandths place. So what that means is that we are going to take our number, which in this case is pretty long and unwieldy, and the only accuracy we care about is going out to the thousandths place. So that means we need to identify the thousandths place in this number, and we can use this handy diagram to see that the thousandths place is the third number to the right of the decimal point. And what this tells us is that we are going to cut off our number after that four. So we will have 342.82, and then after the four, we're gonna cut everything off. But depending on the value of what we're cutting off, that four may stay a four, or it could go up to a five. And the way we determine if that last digit is going to stay as it is, or increase by one, we look at the number just to the right of it. So that first number that we cut off, we can see is a three. If that first number that we're cutting off is less than five, then that number will stay, then the number that is left, the last number we're keeping, is going to stay the same. If the first number that we're cutting off is five or greater, that last number that we're keeping is going to go up. So in this case, three is the number that we're cutting off, that is less than five, so my four is going to remain a four. And so my number rounded to the thousands place is just 342.824. Let's look at another example. This time, I'm going to take the same number, but I want to round it to the ones place. This means I'm going to find the ones place, so that is one position left of the decimal point right there, and I'm going to cut my number off after that. However, that last number that I'm keeping, the two in this case, we need to look and determine if that is going to stay a two or if I need to round it up to a three. And just as before, we're going to check the number right next to it, that first number that we're cutting off. If that number is less than five, the first number that we're keeping stays the same. If that first number we're cutting off is five or greater, then that last number we're keeping is going to go up. So in this case, I've got an eight that is greater than five. So that two is going to become a three and I'm going to cut the rest of this off. And so my number rounded to the ones place is just 343. Now we have one final example of something that might throw you for a loop a little bit. What if we're supposed to round this number, and it's the same number that we've used before, what if we're now supposed to round this to the tens place? And notice the difference between the tens and the tenth place. So this is the tens, so we're interested in cutting the number off right there. So we're going to do the exact same thing as before. We're gonna keep everything to the left of it, and to the right we want to see is that number five or greater? It is not, so that four is just going to stay a four. But now comes the problem. If I cut off all the rest of this, I'm missing some information. This isn't 34, this is 340. So I need to maintain my decimal point right there, but I need to show that all the numbers between the number I'm cutting off and the decimal point are not important. So to show that they are not important, I simply use a zero to fill in that spot so that my number rounded to the tens place would be 340.